Welcome back to Recap Central. Today I'm going to explain a horror movie called Sun. Spoilers ahead. Subscribe for more videos. A waiter gives a woman a cup of hot coffee. She is barefoot with dirty feet. A couple of men enter the dinner and seat right behind her. She gets suspicious and quickly leaves the place. She drives away staying alert. Her water breaks and she has to stop. She gives birth to a little boy while yelling that she doesn't want him. Eight years go by. Eight-year-old David lives with her mother Laura. Laura works as a kindergartner teacher. While also studying psychology. Meanwhile David goes to middle school. One night Laura puts David to sleep and goes to study in her room. She hears someone walking outside her room. She assumes is David who wants to sleep with her. She goes to check on David and finds several people standing around his bed. She tries to enter the room but someone locks it. Laura panics. She runs outside to find some help. She tells her neighbor Susan to call the police. She comes back home and finds the door open. David lays asleep on his bed. Laura hugs him while she cries. Detective Paul comes the next morning to investigate what happened. However there are no signs of a home invasion. Paul's partner thinks she had a lucid dream. Paul says he believes Laura. Laura asks how he could have opened his clothes by himself. David is unsure but says he might get hot at night. At the school. Paul visits Laura and tells her they did not find fingerprints at the house. Laura still believes what she saw was real. At night Laura hears a noise and goes to investigate. She sees a shadow by the door. Scared she calls Paul. Paul checks but he doesn't find anything. Paul talks to Laura about the case. When David comes with his hand on his stomach. His tummy hurts a lot. He falls to his knees and starts vomiting blood. They rush to the hospital. The doctors cut his clothes and check him. They find he is covered with a rush. David struggles in pain when the doctors touch him. Every test the doctors run comes back negative. They have no idea what is wrong with David. He keeps getting worse as time goes by. The doctors believe at this rate he will die by tomorrow. Laura is shocked. She cries while standing next to David. She falls asleep next to him. When she wakes up David has vomited blood. Laura calls the doctors. When they come David is regaining consciousness. The next morning David feels a lot better. It's as if he never was sick. The doctors believe it's a miracle. David Laura and Paul go to a dinner but David doesn't eat anything. Laura plans to sell the house and start a new life. Paul says she should take it slow. They go back home. Laura puts David to sleep. She tells Paul he should stay for the night. They kiss when suddenly David starts screaming for Laura. They go upstairs and David is having a seizure. They take him back to the hospital. The doctors can't understand what happens to him. Laura confesses to Paul she was raised in a cult. And she escaped eight years ago. She thinks the people in David's room were part of the cult. And they are the ones that made David sick. Paul can't believe it. Laura falls asleep next to David again. She wakes up and hears the doctors talking. They say the boy is their priority and someone is arriving soon. Laura looks outside the window and sees two men approaching the hospital. She feels something is wrong. She grabs David and goes to a different room. The doctor come after them but they are gone. She takes David to her neighbor Susan. Laura goes to her house to get money and clothes. David wakes up and tells Susan to come closer. Laura calls Paul and tells him to meet them in front of David's school. In an hour she goes back to Susan's house, but no one opens the door. She comes through the back door. She is shocked to find David feeding on Susan's body. He tells her he feels much better. Laura takes him to the shower. She washes him clean of blood and puts him to bed. She comes back and covers up Susan's murder. She writes he is coming on the wall and a symbol next to it. She drives off with David. Paul calls her. But she throws away the phone. They stop at a hotel that night. They see they are declared missing on the news. They go to see one of Laura's old friends. The police find Susan's corpse. Paul and his partner find out Laura's real name is Anna. For 13 years she was held captive and abused by a pedophile father. Laura stops at Mrs. Nagel's house. She calls her Anna. And asks if David is her father's. Laura asks her about Jimmy. He is in Kalashmont Square in Mississippi. 
Paul discovers Laura was in a mental asylum. He visits the doctor. The doctor says Laura was highly delusional. Paul asks about the cult. The doctor tells him it's all part of her delusion. She and Jimmy Nagel were sold to some men by Laura's father. Paul goes to find Jimmy Nagel. Laura finds Jimmy. She doesn't remember anything about the cult because her treatment at the asylum. But Jimmy still remembers. Laura asks Jimmy for information. David tells he David is the son of the devil. She was the only one that could call him to earth. The cult forced her to have sex with the devil and David is the result. Laura remembers laying on a bed in front of the cult and seeing the devil. David is sick again. His whole body hurts. Laura takes him to a motel. David keeps getting worse. She know he will only get better by eating someone. She returns to her car and tries to calm down. She sees a man beating a girl for money. How convenient. She returns to see David and he begs her for food. Laura drinks to get some courage and brings to the room the man from earlier. David is hiding under the bed. She takes the man to the bathroom and they start to undress. Suddenly David attacks the man and starts eating his flesh. Laura can't watch it so she goes outside to calm down. After a while she goes back inside pieces of the man are left on the floor. David is happily watching cartoons while Laura puts the body into garbage bags and cleans up. They depart from the hotel. They go to an abandoned church. Laura dumps the man's body and writes he is coming on the wall. She and David go to a different motel. Paul and Steve go to Jimmy's house. They find him dead. He is coming is written on his chest. Steve is convinced Laura is behind the murders. And Paul agrees. At their hotel room David tells Laura he dreamed he could fly. Laura tells him she won't help him next time he gets hungry. David says if she doesn't help him he will die. Laura cries. David wants to go have some fun. Laura takes him to the carnival. They have fun at the carnival until David gets sick again. His stomach is bleeding this time. Laura takes him to the hotel as he is in pain. Laura tries to calm him down. When three police officers come into the room. Laura grabs a gun she took from the man earlier. And shoots them. When she turns the light on she sees all the men on the floor. She shoot all of them. One of them is Steve. She tries to help him but it's too late. The policeman is dead. She takes David and they run away. A lot of people see them leaving. Laura is tired of this situation. She drives to where she was born. She dream about the place every night. She dreams she is in bed surrounded by cult members. Her father tells her to recite her verses. She does and a creature enters the room. The devil and David's father. On her way to the house she calls Paul and apologizes for killing Steve. She tells Paul she is going to where it all began. Paul tries to talk to her but she hangs up. Laura arrives to the house and sits on the floor and recites the verses but nothing happens. She threatens to kill David if he doesn't come. She hopes he will heal David. Laura keeps reciting the verses. A figure appears behind her. When she is about to turn around. Paul and other police officers enter the room. The entity from earlier disappears. Laura blames Paul. She say the men that came to her house fed David human flesh and that awakened the evil in David. Now she has no choice but to kill David. She won't let him live like this. She is about to stab him but the officers shoot her. At the hospital David is very ill. Paul cuts a piece of flesh and feeds it to David. He was a cult member all along. He introduces David to his father. David hugs the entity from earlier and calls him daddy. Leave a like and subscribe for more.